So now it's time to master Filmora. In part one, we're gonna be going into masking, chroma keying, motion tracking, and so much more. All right, so this first feature that we're gonna be taking a look at is something called AI Portrait. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a clip that has a person as the main subject. And then we're gonna head over to the effects page and you can see AI Portrait on the left-hand side toolbar here a bunch of different options and effects here. First thing we're gonna check out is the human segmentation. And we're just going to drag this effect down on top of the clip. And you can see it immediately uh, cuts her out. And so this allows you to put any sort of backgrounds. So for example, I have this clip of some woods and boom. And this is a great way to kind of cut a person out even though it was not shot on green screen. It still has a complex background. I can double click on it and go under video and effects and you can kind of change around some of the settings so you can feather the edge a lot more. You can change the edge thickness uh, just to make it look the way you want. And of course, if we get rid of this effect, kind of just go back to the normal thing, we can try out some of these other ones, right? Uh, so we can do like flashing outline. I'll go ahead and download that one. And you can even drag it above your clip if you just want to do it that way to only affect the clip for a short period of time. And again, I can click on it and you can make all these different adjustments depending on uh, what look and style you're going for. But if I play this back, it's super trippy, <laughs> but definitely could be cool depending on what sort of project. Maybe this is like an energy drink commercial and you just want to show like crazy energy. Uh, really, really cool and super fast. And speaking of cutting things out, we talked a little bit about this in another video, but masking is incredibly important uh, to know as well. So if we double click again on our top layer here of this girl, we will see our mask over here next to basic in our panel. And you can see all these different various uh, forms of mass. Most of the time you're going to use probably use some of the basic ones, rectangular, circle, double lines, um, but there are some other fun options like love and star. So for example, if you want to make this more of just a box, then you can kind of do the double line, feather it out to kind of make it match a bit more. And it all just depends the style that you're going for. But masking is essentially just a way to take one part of your image and, and almost think of it like cropping out the other parts um, to display what's underneath. So even though this isn't like, again, a green screen or we're not trying to make it perfectly cut out like the AI portrait uh, sort of setup, you're still able to composite these two clips together. Now, when you want a really good cutout, that's where chroma key is going to come into play. And of course, chroma key is when you shoot on a traditional green screen or something like that background. And again, we can utilize this kind of woods uh, picture or clip that we have in the background as kind of our background. And we have our chroma key uh, clip right on top here. To chroma key in Filmora 11 is super easy. We're just going to double click our uh, main layer here. We're going to go down to chroma key. We're going to turn it on and it's already going to get a pretty solid chroma key because we had a green screen. But sometimes you don't have a green screen. Sometimes it's a blue screen or just a plain colored background that you want to key out. And if that was the case, you would just grab this uh, little eyedropper here and you would just click the green background. And again, similar to the masking and AI portrait, you have some different parameters because there's various different levels of kind of green screening out there. Depending on the lighting, you may need to change the tolerance level. So if people's ears and hair aren't cut off, you can change the edge thickness. And sometimes you may even want to leave that because some people like that almost having like a outline look. It's a little like animated uh, look to it. But if you're going for realism, you want to kind of figure out that balance between that edge line and feathering and something like that looks pretty solid. I may even go into color grade this clip a little bit more to add some more contrast to really make it match the background a bit better. And that looks a lot better there. 
Um, and so now we basically have it green screened and chroma key, just like he's truly existing in this scene. Okay, so now we're going to show you something that is super popular, and that is motion tracking. And so I'm going to bring in our clip of our girl running here, and I'm just gonna, you know, grab a couple seconds worth of it. I'm just gonna trim this clip up. And so we can see she's just running along. And basically, I want to add text over to the right here. But instead of just being static, I want it to kind of match uh, with her movements. And so what I'm going to do is actually just kind of track her uh, probably face mouth uh, is the most consistent in the shot, but just kind of moving up and down there. To do motion tracking is incredibly easy. You can either double click on your clip or just make sure it's selected and select the motion tracking right here. That's going to bring up your tool panel. Motion tracking is turned on. And uh, once we make sure that we are in this uh, section here, we're going to grab this middle box here. This is our tracking box. The crosshairs in the middle is what it's going to track the specific subject. And this exterior box is just looking is where basically the computer is analyzing what to track in this box. So you want to keep it a little bit bigger than your main subject here. So about this size is good. We're going to put our playhead back at the beginning and kind of put the box exactly where we want it. Again, being on the first frame is very important. So it tracks the entire clip. I'm going to hit start tracking. It's going to do its thing incredibly fast. Just ridiculous how fast Filmora does its motion tracking. And if I play it back, we can see the box stays with her that whole time. Now, taking a break from our motion data that we now have captured, I'm going to deselect that clip. We're going to go over to Titles, and I'm just going to grab a default title here, just something, you know, seemingly basic. And we're going to adjust this real quick. Something like that looks fun, you know, creative. And again, right now, if I were to just press play on this, you know, she's moving, but this text is kind of just existing. It's not very interesting. Uh, I do want to make it a bit smaller, though. Uh, but what we are going to do is double click and go back to our motion tracking data on our running clip. And right here under this drop down, we can now choose default title because it's looking at what's right above it. And we're going to basically pair the two. Uh, and again, we can see it snap to the box up there. And if I were to play it, you can see it's now attached to her. But of course, maybe we want to move this about. And uh, I can grab the title and again, resize it back to what I want, move it around. And it's still attached to that data. And of course, we can see it without this box. I can just hide it right here. And just to really complete this clip, this isn't part of this, but we did already talk about color grading and this clip is kind of lacking. So really quick, I just want to add a bunch of contrast, some saturation, bring down the brightness a little bit. And now if I go back to the beginning of this clip, play it back, we can see that we have nice motion tracked text to this clip and you can attach anything. This could be a picture, this could be another video, it could be a graphic. You can attach whatever you want to the clip. Just go to your base layer, go to video and just make sure you pair uh, whatever layer you want right above the clip. And that is motion tracking in Filmora.